Hey, good afternoon. I got a home project I'm going to attempt. I'm going to do a music server for my home. I've got about 800 CDs in this tower, and I got another six or 700 record albums. I want to put all of this tangible media into electronic files, and then I'll have a music server that I can put right into my stereo and listen to all my music from my library through my tablet. I don't know anybody else that has one of these. I've done a lot of research on this. So I'm going to do this myself. We'll see how it works. And I'll help you guys out by letting you know what you need or don't need. I purchased a network attached storage device. And I bought it with all solid state drives. I'm going to load my music library into this unit using DB Power Amp CD Ripper program. It works very well. It's very easy to use. I've never used a CD Ripper program before. This one cost $68 for a lifetime membership. I've always had trouble with free stuff. Free stuff just doesn't work as well for stuff you pay for. Now this network storage device, I'm going to use Rune Music Server software. I'm going to install the Rune software on this device. My tablet will be the controller with, through an app. I'm going to try to use this wirelessly. This has a 4K HDMI 2 at 60 hertz output. And I'm going to plug this right into my preamp processor. I'm going to try to control it wirelessly first. If that doesn't work, I'm going to end up having to run Ethernet. Everything runs better over hardwire. So I'm going to try to get it up and running first wirelessly. I bought a QNAP. TVS 672 XT. Like I said, it does 4K video, so I can even store movies on this if I buy digital copies. It has 8 gig of RAM because the Rune software, they say you're required to have a minimum of 4 gig. So I went with 8, so that Rune software should run flawlessly on this. Since I bought a diskless unit, I have to put the disks in. It's very simple and the instructions are very good. You gotta pop the tray out. Out comes the tray. Directions tell you to pull this one side off. Now it's gonna be upside down. Now we'll put the drive in. They come in a static bag, an ESD bag. You don't want to touch all the little shiny fingers. You could zap that and never know it and then it's toast. There's four holes in this drive. We only use three for this. And when you look at this, it has little arrows where your screws go right there these are a two and a half inch drive so I've got my little two and a half inch holes here once you put one in the other line there's line up now there's four threaded holes in this but there's only three in this that get used just line up your first hole drop a screw in there let's get a screw screwdriver and start it okay it's still loose so I can line up the other three holes and this screwdriver looks huge but it's a number two tip that fit these screws. It's still loose. If you have a magnetic screwdriver, that's your best bet. Now I got the screw on there. It's not going to fall off. And then hole number three. And then just go back, tighten them all down. Remember not to touch the gold fingers. Okay, everybody's tight. Put it back in. Slide it in, lock it, there you go. I'll put the rest in. All the drives are installed, go take it where the main computer is, put it on the router, and provision this thing. Rip all the music into it, and once it's set up, I'll move it out to where the preamp processor is in the cabinet. Okay, it's hooked to the router with an ethernet cord. We got AC power, we're gonna turn it on. Got a green status light. Hardware initialization. Okay, now we're going to rip a CD using DB Power Amp. Now that I have my network attached storage device connected, 
This is the folder on my new storage device, and that's where I'm going to rip my music. I also have a Led Zeppelin box set, disc three, but this is the wrong picture for that album. This is where this program is nice. I can pick metadata. I have five options. And I have found that whenever this album cover is the wrong picture, if I pick GD3, that gives me the right picture. And that is the correct picture of my album cover. So now that I have that, I'm going to go ahead and rip this. There's several levels of encoding. If you notice, these are anywhere from 40 to 60 meg. You do uncompress, you're looking at about 300 meg per song. And I've had really good results with 5 as the recommended. I don't know what determines this rip speed. I've had it up to 22, and it's been down to 4. I, I don't know what determines what it rips at. When you get this little uh, pink and blue circle, that means it's an accurate rip, and it gives you a confidence level. It compares your rips to a database of previous rips of this same music. Uh, what happens when you pick this software, you allow it to talk to your computer to get your RIP results to put it into their database to provide more RIP results. So the results of these RIPs will be picked up by this DB Power Amp company and they will put my RIPs in their database for future RIPs. See that RIP speed just jumped up to 23. So all 10 tracks came back as an accurate rip. We'll move on to the next one. I have half my CDs loaded into this QNAP, and I just brought it out here. I have one Ethernet cord running to my router. I got a power cord, and I have an HDMI cable running to my stereo, because I just want to get a feel for how this works and make sure I get it set up right. I do have a mouse plugged in the back to make it easy to use, but my phone or my tablet works as the remote and it does a keyboard, it does the mouse, it does remote buttons. This is just easier because I'm real close and I can see it. And the only thing I've installed so far is the music. And this is all through QNAP apps. These apps I put in right when I provisioned it. So this is the music app. And then you can just scroll through and pick what you want. This can all be done through a, through a tablet or a phone. And you got your remote up here as well. So everything works. Now I need to add my room. You got the music station. If I log in here, it brings it up just like it would be on your computer screen if you opened up the folders. You got the HD players where we just were. And that takes us back to the music. The Rune music software needs its own Rune ready or Rune tested DAC because the Rune software needs to control the clock of the DAC. So I had to buy this DAC in order to use the Rune software. And this DAC, it'll do wireless, it'll do Bluetooth, and it'll do Ethernet. So I've got it on the Ethernet, and I've got RCA jacks coming out going to my preamp processor. So all the music file transfer from that network attached storage is Ethernet to this Blue Sound Node 2. And then the Blue Sound Node 2 
takes it over to the preamp processor. And this is controlled by tablet or a phone. It's got the power cord. It's got a service port. That's for the manufacturer. USB port. Ethernet. You have a trigger. 12 volt trigger. You have an IR input for a remote. You also have an optical input. You have an optical output. It gives you a digital coaxial output, a subwoofer output, and then the two RCA jacks. I'm using the two RCAs for my analog in on my preamp processor. And this is all controlled through an app with your phone or your tablet. And this is what connects Rune Core and allows me to play my music through the Rune software program. If I just wanted to use the QNAP music servers or other music server apps, I would not need this DAC. I could plug it right into the stereo like I have right now with the HDMI. The cool thing about this Rune is everything it does. Give you an overview. It'll give me the genres of all the music I have in my library. And the Discover is really cool too. Take Black Sabbath for instance. Give you the history of the band. Anybody in blue you can click on it, get their history. It's like reading album covers when you were younger. This is so cool. It'll also let me know what albums I've got in my library. So I picked Paranoid. Now you notice I got numbers in these circle in these albums. That's because in my albums I have four tracks. So pick Paranoid. It tells me I've got that same song on these four albums. Which one do I want to choose? That also tells you when they're going on concert tours. October 3rd, October 6th, October 8th. Well, those are all Las Vegas, but a lot of these bands do that. They give you their concert lineup. This rune is really cool. And this is the main reason why I bought the network attached storage device and that rune ready DAC. I'm getting old. I'm trying to keep up with digital technology. I'm not an IT guy and I muddled through this. It took me a couple of days to get that NAS set up. It took me another day to get that, that DAC set up to at least just play my library. And it took me another two days to get that DAC connected to the Rune software, which is the whole reason why I did this. I'm gonna use ethernet. That way all the files are transferred over ethernet. No Wi-Fi, no Bluetooth. Turning this thing up was not the easiest thing in the world because nothing today comes with a manual as far as electronic stuff. Everything is provisioned through an app and if it doesn't work then you have to go to the manufacturer's website, look through their help menus. So I, I've done a lot of scanning through support forums to figure out what was going on with my, my stuff just wouldn't talk to each other and it's not crystal clear when you try to do this. So I'll do another video to try to let you know how to provision the pieces so they do talk to each other and you end up with the right end result. Good luck cranking up your home music server because once you get it running you're gonna love it. Especially with that Rune. I've tried a few different apps through the QNAP and that Rune software is just, it's mesmerizing how much information you can sit and read while you're listening to the music. And I really do enjoy that. Thanks for watching.